Deep fried foods are delicious, let's be honest. Unfortunately, deep frying is not the healthiest cooking method, especially when done on an industrial scale. But deep frying at home certainly doesn't have to be unhealthy. It all comes down to what oil you use and how you use it. Some oils can withstand much higher temperatures than others. This is actually a key factor when determining what is the best oil for deep frying. We want to choose oils that are stable and don't react with oxygen when heated. They should have a smoke point, that is the point at which it starts to burn and smoke, of greater than 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 230 degrees Celsius. Oils that are mostly saturated and monounsaturated tend to be the most stable, while oils high in polyunsaturated fats tend to be more fragile. This is because polyunsaturated fats contain two or more double bonds in their chemical structure, which react to high heat. And then taste obviously matters as well. Oils with a, a neutral flavor are generally preferred for deep frying. So which oil is best then? Well, there's several good choices really. The first is coconut oil, which is about 90% saturated fat. Research has shown that even after eight hours of continuous deep frying at 365 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius, the quality of coconut oil does not deteriorate. Note that refined oils tend to have a higher smoke point and more neutral taste than unrefined versions. So although unrefined coconut oil performs quite well, the best choice with regards to safety and quality when deep frying is actually refined. Olive oil is another that does very well under deep frying conditions, this time because of its high monounsaturated fat content. Studies show it can be heated or used in a deep fryer for over 24 hours before it starts oxidizing. Again, refined oil has a higher smoke point and more neutral taste than unrefined varieties like extra virgin. So extra virgin is fine for baking and regular frying, but with deep frying, refined is actually the better choice. Animal fats are also great choices for deep frying, particularly ghee and beef tallow. Now some say they add a unique crispiness when deep fried. Just make sure you don't use butter at high temperatures because it contains trace amounts of carbs and protein that burn. Avocado oil is also great and has a similar fatty acid composition to olive oil. It has an extremely high smoke point, upwards of 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 degrees Celsius. However, it does have a bit of a stronger taste and is typically more expensive. Lastly, I need to add that deep fried foods should not be commonplace in our diet. Uh, this is because this particular cooking method, when compared to others such as grilling or baking, adds a lot of calories to the food. For example, a roasted chicken wing contains about 100 calories, while a deep fried chicken wing contains about 160 calories. So that's a 60% increase in calories eating the same thing. So by all means, enjoy the occasional deep fried treat, but please don't get carried away. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the big red button below this video. And that way you can stay in the loop whenever we release new videos.